What's going on everyone, my name is Ovi and welcome to a new FIFA 19 tutorial on the channel. Today we've got a full finishing tutorial. We will go through all the possible scenarios when getting close to the goal and you will see exactly how to finish from each position. Before we get started guys, make sure to leave a like if you're enjoying the content on the channel. Let's try and get over 1100 likes. And in the moment that happens, bang, I will upload a FIFA 19 Tiki Taka tutorial in which I will show you some tips and tricks on how to keep possession of the ball and build up your attack like Barcelona. Getting back to our tutorial guys, as I've told you, we've got so many scenarios and we're gonna start with the most uh, common one, the finesse shots inside the penalty box. In order to do a finesse shot, all you have to do is Press and hold R1 on your PlayStation controller or RB on your Xbox One controller and load the shot button. It is very important for your player to be facing the corner of the goal in which you want to finesse the ball. Uh, shot power should be between uh, one and a half and two and a half bars depending on the distance and where the goalkeeper is situated. Next scenario. The finesse shot near the post and this is from where and when you should do it guys. You are on your player's uh, dominant foot, uh, you've got like 5, 6, 7 meters away from the goalkeeper. Uh, it's risky to do from this position a power shot at the far post but as you can see the near post is pretty open. So don't be afraid to finesse the shot at the near post. Another very important thing guys, when finessing the shot inside the penalty box is the setup. When you control the ball from the first touch and you put the ball on your player's dominant foot. As you can see here, I receive the ball at Martial. I am uh, facing away from the goal. I just move my left and I look down in order to open up my angle and get in the perfect position to finesse the shot. Another classic way of finishing in FIFA 19 and in all FIFAs is the power shot inside the penalty box. As you are seeing here, uh, we are controlling Kondombia, he's on his uh, left foot, we've got the far post open, the distance from the goalkeeper is right it's the perfect moment to power up a shot. As you can see, two and a half bars is more than enough to rocket the ball inside the net. Skill moves have always been a big part of uh, the FIFA game and will always be a big part of the FIFA game. Uh, again, here we are on a counter attack. We've opened up the game very well, but we are not uh, on our player's dominant foot. And even though Dembele has five stars uh, weak foot he doesn't have incredible shooting so it would be much more effective for us if we switch to the left foot of his and do a finesse shot we've got a defender coming and in order to do that we perform a ball roll which can be done by moving the right and look to the left of the player or to the right if you want to uh, do the ball roll in that direction and holding it in that uh, uh, position for one two seconds as you can see the result is very very nice we get past the defender it's the perfect setup uh, for our shot we do the finesse and it goes in easily getting now to the chip shot uh, we've got two variations here the first one guys and i like the fact that it's so so realistic uh, you've got one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, he comes at you and you do not have time um, or it's not effective to do a finesse shot or a tap in or a power shot. Just chip the ball over him guys. Two bars, two bars and a half and it will go in beautifully. This type of finishing should be done when the goalkeeper is rushing towards you guys. The second variation here is when the goalkeeper okay he's rushing at you but he still has a big distance to cover until he gets to you uh, in that moment it is counter effective for you to do a power shot to do a finesse shot because he has covered the angles instead of that you need to do a chip shot guys which is extremely extremely good from that position load the power bar at approximately again two and a half bars move the left analog towards the goal and the ball will go in easily the setup or 
the sweaty goals, as many of you like to call it. I like to call it uh, smart plays. What do you prefer? Risk a shot one on one with the goalkeeper and sometimes, let's be honest, finishing is not that consistent in FIFA 19. Or do you prefer to pass the ball to your teammate and score an easy goal 100%? You should use this when uh, you're not sure about uh, the probability of scoring a goal, the one-on-one, -on -one, and you've got the support of a teammate. That's very, very important. You can use uh, a driven pass to him, a normal pass to him, all of these combinations will be very very effective and as you can see we score even though at first we didn't have the best angle with the player that we were controlling next we've got the easy tap in and this is one of the most common finishing techniques in fifa 19 it looks like a driven shot like uh, in fifa 18 but it's not that powerful this should be used when you are very very close to the goalkeeper the maximum power applied to this shot should be one and a half bars guys if you go higher the ball will get higher you know and the defender the goalkeeper will have an easier task in defending it but if you go at max one and a half uh, bars then the ball will stay low and very very difficult for the goalkeeper to defend it outside finesse shots guys uh, i think these are the most overpowered you kind of do them from uh, 20 25 meters out but they are the most overpowered and i've been using the same technique uh, in the last couple of years so all i do guys is while i load the shot button i move the left elbow just slightly slightly guys inside the goal as you are seeing in this example and instead of missing the goal it just squeezes in without giving any chance to the goalkeeper to defend it now for something that i think is exclusive to fifa 19 it's something new it wasn't that effective in previous fifas the first touch shot works from the penalty box uh, works from the border you know of the penalty box and all you have to do guys is start loading the shot button before the ball gets to you so you perform a first touch and release of course uh, power bar should be at around two and the thing that makes this type of shot so so effective uh, is the fact that uh, the defender the goalkeeper is not expecting it uh, you should use it when you are cornered by defenders when you do not have time to perform a first touch and then do the shot in these moments the first touch shot is an absolute banger near post finishing guys and this is all about decision making you will also be able to finish at the far post we're gonna talk about it uh, a bit later but the near post finishing should be done only guys when the goalkeeper is covering a bit too much the far post there is no need to do a far post shot as the goalkeeper will defend it but he's got the near post empty and you can try a power shot as we did here with Ronaldo or we can do an easy tap in like we did here with Rabio. it all depends on the distance to the goal another important thing that you need to know guys do not get fooled by the goalkeeper into doing a chip shot if you go on a counter attack uh, your opponent might try and trick you using his goalkeeper to bluff and make you think that he is taking the goalkeeper out of the goal sometimes that doesn't happen so just keep it cool guys and do not rush the chip shot do not rush it just advance 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 see if really a chip shot is needed else continue advancing and then just finish from inside the penalty box of course far post finishing is still a thing guys in fifa 19 but as always it depends on the position of your player and on the position of the goalkeeper this example right here is absolutely perfect the goalkeeper is defending the near post you will have to do a power shot at the far post so you move the left analog towards the far post uh, power bar should be out at around two two and a half last but not least guys we've got the power shots from outside the penalty box 
This is the position from where you have chances of scoring long shots. They are not that overpowered in FIFA 19. Even with timed shooting, sometimes it is difficult to score from far up. So we've got Inaki Williams, a player that is not fantastic at long shots, but as you will see, he's still able to score them if you follow these advices. So you get the ball, he is running. Make sure to make one touch after you've made the touch. It is time to load the power bar between two and a half and three bars, guys. And you have to direct the left and look towards the far post. And what I do here to increase my chances again, I try to give a bit of a curve to the ball and I move just slightly my left analog. So guys, there you have it. All the possible finishing scenarios in FIFA 19. Let me know uh, in the comment section below if you've got any questions. I'll try to answer as many of you as possible. Make sure to leave a like if you want to see that Tiki Taka tutorial going live next on the channel. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more FIFA 19 tutorials. My name is Ovi and I'll see you guys later. I'm